Welcome back. This is an EZAC solar charger for your devices. This specific one is the 28 watt version for around $63. There's also a 15 watt version for about $43. And when Easyac approached me about this, you know, I have I have just the, my mindset with MS Tech is I want cool tech that people don't see everywhere else. So I'm not going to just review a bunch of battery banks, that kind of stuff. And it hit me. I've never done a video on one of these. I've never seen one of these and I've never tried one of these. So I thought I could make an interesting video. Is this practical? Is it something that you could carry in your car instead of a battery bank and say your car broke down or something and your phone's dead? You whip it out, charge up your phone with the sunlight. Is it practical? And as always, if this video gets 2,000 likes, I'll be giving one away on my Twitter at MSTechYT. Just drop a comment down below that you want one. So let's answer the question. Is this thing practical for charging your devices when in need and you don't have access to a power outlet, and, but you do have access to the sun? Question mark. <laughs> domains. They are very important here on the internet and right now the dot tech squad is offering $3 dot tech domains using the code MS tech on get dot tech. I already picked up Matt Schaefer dot tech and deal hunter dot tech, but there's plenty more domains to go around since it's a fairly new program links and everything down below. All right. So a quick overview. There's actually not that much going on with this, even though it's like a complicated product, I guess. Just rip it open with some Velcro. One, two, three, four solar panels, um, which I would guess that the 15 watt version has less solar panels. Not really sure. I only have 28 watt version. And, uh, and then it, over here is where all of your like charging and electronics are. Uh, there's a little USB hub, I guess, with two one amp ports and two 2.4 amp ports. Uh, obviously, if you have the choice, you'd use the 2.4 amp ports because that would charge it faster. They do include a micro USB cable, which I am using and it's plugged in and that's it. It's four panels and USB ports and that is this entire product, but simplicity can be good. Okay, here is a tutorial on how to use this fascinating device. You open it up in the sun, you take your phone and you plug it in. And if it's in sunlight and not artificial light like this, it will start charging. And honestly, the first time you plug it in and it's just being powered by sunlight is actually pretty cool. You're like, Cool, that power just coming out of nowhere. So to determine whether or not this is a practical form of charging your device when you aren't, when you don't have access to an outlet, I did some testing and it's not scientific testing or anything, but I did do some testing. So first I took it outside, completely dead off of R7 and I put this in the sun, I plugged it in and then I let it charge for 30 minutes. And then I took the Oppo R7, I completely killed the battery, and I did the same thing inside. And both times I used a 2.4 amp port for consistency. And then I also uh, completely killed the battery and tried it one more time using a 1 amp port inside just to see how the 2.4 amp on the solar charger would compare to a 1 amp port out of the wall. And here are the results. Inside on a 2.4 amp USB hub, it charged up to 40% in 30 minutes, and that is an average of 31 milliamp hours per minute. Outside via the sunlight on a 2.4 amp port, it charged up to 23% in 30 minutes, which is 18 milliamp hours per minute. And then inside on a one amp charger, so like a regular smartphone charger, or like an iPhone charger, it charged up to 21% in 30 minutes, which is an average of 16 milliamp hours per minute. Now that was by no means, by no means, by no means a scientific test. There were definitely other variables. Sunlight was a variable. It probably it was not like exactly on the dot 30 minutes each time. Plenty of variables to worry about. They were using power strips, so other things were plugged in as well. Uh, but this wasn't meant to be super exact and scientific. It was just to see if this could be a practical form of charging. And I think based on those results, absolutely. Yes, it's not gonna charge as fast as a full 2.4 amp out of the wall, but that makes sense. It is charging faster than a one amp charger would out of the wall, and that alone is very interesting. I thought this would have been slower than even a one amp port inside out of a wall. So does it hold its own? Absolutely. Am I gonna keep this in my car? Absolutely. This is just a source of charge on any sunny day whenever I have access, uh, nothing needed to charge or anything. You just plop it out and plug your phone in, and that is extremely useful. And coming into this video, I actually didn't expect it. I thought it would be slower than both the 2.4 amp and 1 amp port uh, out of the wall, but it was actually held its own. And I'm very impressed. Easyac, good job. Sunlight, good job. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more content. And as always, stay classy.